Good day YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Uh, welcome back for some royal tea. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are going to take a sabbatical, planning to take a sabbatical with baby Archie. I wonder if we'll see him. And they want to move out of the UK. This is an odd picture. I mean, Archie the hostage. Does Archie look... Archie looks really uncomfortable. He's like, let me go, dude. Harry doesn't look terribly comfortable. He doesn't look comfortable holding Archie. This is that guy, Tom, the the guy who did the uh, the documentary, Tom something, Tom Bradby, and they've known him for 20 years. So, a lot of questions. They, you know, Harry and Meghan have spent the last 10 days, I watched the documentary last night, okay, and it was more about Meghan and Harry than it was even about Africa. Africa was just a set piece, you know, and the, the girls dancing, and it was just a set piece for their talking about, you know, Harry, every time I see, every time I see a flash, every time I hear a click, I think of my mother Diana, and it's just painful, you know, is he mentally ill? Megan, she's uh, being treated unfairly in the media. They, they filed lawsuits. You know, it was a 10 day, it was 10 day or two weeks blitz on the media, you know, just sucking up all the media attention and trying to make sure that Kate and William didn't get any media attention in Pakistan. And they were doing their Pakistan trip. Did Kate and William or do that to Harry and Meghan? No. Beatrice did announce her engagement the day after Archie was revealed to Desmond Tutu. So let's take let's take a look at a mini. Uh, Harry and Meghan and Archie, six weeks sabbatical, uh, no royal duties in the USA. What's this about? What's going on? Let's just kind of get a general feeling. Okay, key events. Let's just get a feeling for what's going on. Six weeks sabbatical. And this uh, will run over Thanksgiving. Uh, uh, almost forgot to ask that question. That's a really important question. Okay. So what is going on here? Okay. Uh, all kinds of difficulties, lying, conflict and difficulties, key events, conflict and difficulties, same stuff, different day, a very cleverly designed move, and eight two spades, a message from the royal family, go and be quiet for a while. Hmm. Well... There's a lot of stuff lying in the, there's a lot of conflict and there's a lot of problems lying in the situation. It's all about this, the problems coming and they're trying to be very clever in how they deal with it. And so they're running away overseas. I feel like this is ordered by the queen. Let's just ask, did the queen order Meghan and Harry silenced? Okay, because Meghan was just, clutching her her belly over the green dress. Uh, they're, you know, they're just blitzing the media. Did the Queen order Meghan and Harry silenced? There's communication, Jacob's Ladder. Okay, changes. see that. Did the queen order silence? Mercury, Jacob's ladder, fence sitter, fives are change. Then we have player and water into wine. 19, that's five clubs, three fives. 
a lot of fives, a lot of change, changing the the narrative, changing the you know Mercury is about electronic communication and what electronic communication. So changing the electronic communication, changing the narrative, reacting to circumstances, and going forward, changing the narrative. Nineteen. That's five clubs. So four fives. We got four fives. This adds five clubs. This adds five clubs. They both add 19, so that's four fives. So it's all change. Okay, public, transforming the public, the public face. Yeah, they, so did the queen order their silence? She is really tired of the narrative that Harry and Meghan and Sunshine Sachs are weaving. And she is, she's changing this narrative. She's changing this narrative going forward. So this is the beginning of the Queen stepping in and changing the narrative for Meghan and Harry. Because they've just so rogue, it's crazy. Okay, so she did kind of order it. This is the beginning. Uh, they move very slowly and very deliberately and they don't fly off the handle ever. And that's very admirable. Um, Will Harry be attending rehab during this time? Because it's six weeks. He's running off to America. You know, there's all these rehab centers. Uh, he, you know, he had that, the laughing, snorting, sad face meltdown, just right there. And he's obviously under a lot of stress. Um, so is Harry attending a rehab during this six week period? Because this is the perfect opportunity. Ooh, a lot of tens. Okay. So, cup overflowing, star of Bethlehem, inheritance, 27, cross. Very emotional about his situation and the marriage. Uh, opportunistically, very opportunistically, and Incubus Succubus uh, taking opportunities to deal with the bad relationship and three diamonds. That adds three diamonds. Ten. Seven Hearts is a healing card. Seven Hearts is the healing card. Emotionally healing uh, the, the whole situation and the marriage. I think they're going to do some marriage counseling. Yeah, they're going to work on their marriage a bit. Uh, cup overflowing can be alcohol. That is a great alcohol card. Healing alcohol in the situation. They're going to do some kind of counseling. Some kind of secret counseling over here. Okay, there's a word. that The word is out that uh, they're going to have Thanksgiving with Doria, which they really ought to. Uh, since they're going to be in the United States and they're going to be in California. And they might invite Thomas up and they're going to have, that would be a great idea. Thomas comes and sees Archie or, or Rent-A-Baby Archie or whatever Archie they have on hand right now. And, you know, you, they snap all these pictures and you, you, try, you, you try to cover his ears somehow so that, you know, people don't see his, can't compare the ears later. Are they, is that going to happen? Are they going to invite Thomas up uh, for Thanksgiving at Doria's? Because I hear that's happening. Invite Thomas for Thanksgiving at Doria's. Oh, dear. Wow. Cray cray. All right, let's take a closer look here. Thomas Thanksgiving. Well, we have ten spades right in the middle. That's disappointment. Ruler, ten spades, roses. This is a sweet gesture. 23, 26, finger of God reaching down and changing things. I think this is disappointment. I think this will not happen. Okay. 
Uh, I think this will not happen. That's just a rumor. What do we have in the hidden situation? The relationship, the family relationship is broken, two spades, uh, because of all the secrets, nine and six, 15, and a big change has occurred. Big change has occurred in the relationship with Thomas, and it's all broken because of all the secrets and all the stuff going on. So, yeah, I don't see that happening. They're not going to have a photo op with Thomas. He's not going to be attending. Uh, it's the relationship. She just they they just beat on Thomas so much that, and I think Thomas will be, uh, you know, Thomas and Samantha and the Dooleys. They should be talking to the the biographer guy, Tom. What's his name? Everybody's named Tom around here. Everybody's a Tom, Tom, and a Tom. Okay. So they're going to be talking to, he, I think he's going to be talking to the biographer and, and giving him the dirt and it's all about to come out and they know this. Does Harry actually want to leave the, the UK? Okay, is this Wallace Simpson and Edward? Is he now Edward? She's so deep in his mind he's now Edward because that's the worst thing he can do. Can, does Harry want to leave the UK? Because Megan clearly wants to leave the UK, and she's probably harping on Harry every day about, you know, this is we're, I'm just existing, oh, we're just existing, we're not living, you know, we could have such a beautiful life. Harry leaves the Royals. That's the end of Harry. Okay, that's not the end of Megan. Megan just needs to get rid of Harry, and then she takes the rest. Uh, and that's what's going to happen. So Hightower, Mother Earth, Three Black Birds. Megan, Megan is talking and talking about this, about the officially 12 and 12, six spades, uh, incubus, succubus, rooting, the mother rooting officially. Does Harry want to leave? Megan wants to leave. Okay, Megan wants to leave and she's talking in his ear about separating. Yeah, Hightower is also very isolated and separated. She's talking about leaving the royal family. Megan is talking about leaving the royal family and rooting separately uh, because of the bad relationship. So this is Megan's idea. Does Harry want to leave? It doesn't say Harry wants to leave. Megan wants to leave. Okay, because it's not going well for Megan, and she's dragging Harry in. She's, you know, stop attacking Megan, and now it's stop attacking Megan and Harry. And Megan wants to leave, and now Harry wants to leave. She's just dragging Harry into all of it. Okay, so let's, let's review. This six-month sabbatical right up until Christmas, what's going on? Um, all the problems... Uh, there's just they're just running away from all the problems and conflicts and there's some really key stuff coming out and here in the future so they're just trying to be wise about it they're blitzing the media they're suing everybody they're trying to keep the upper hand and be on the attack and here uh, messages Planting, planting the, hmm, this can also say they're looking at California as a place they want to escape to. Okay, planting their marriage in California. So, Megan is thinking that. Harry is being pushed along. And Megan is the stronger, smarter partner. And she's just, you know, slapping him around every day. So, is the Queen ordering Megan and Harry to be silent? Because they're just constantly consuming all the media air she want this is changes she's reacting and making changes in the narrative going forward okay and you we get four fives it's all fives five 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 okay because this adds five clubs this adds five clubs uh, player and water the public transforming the public what they're representing to the public. So the, the queen is finally putting her foot down. Thank God. 
She is finally putting her foot down and she's initiating a process. She's giving them a timeout and I don't think they're going to be quiet. But no royal duties for six weeks. And she's, they're going to start. She wants the narrative that they're singing, Harry and Meghan are singing, to change going forward. So the Queen is ordering this. She ordered this. Get out of here for six weeks. Is Harry going to go into rehab? Well, this is showing healing and a lot of emotions, and it's about the marriage and the bad relationship. So they're going to be attending some kind of counseling, or the counselor will, they're very rich, the counselor will come to their house, some famous counselor, and it'll all be done in secret. Okay, like, like you see on the Kardashians, the counselor comes to their house. Okay, so is Thomas, there's a rumor that Thomas will appear for Thanksgiving, he will hold... I think he'll hold, you know, Archie much more comfortably than this and look more comfortable than Harry. Harry looks uncomfortable and Archie looks uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable looking at them. So will Thomas be attending Thanksgiving with Doria? We have a disaster here. No way, Jose. And we have two spades not connected. Okay, because of secrets... It's really bad right now, and I think Thomas is, is, is talking to the biographer, okay? And he's going to spill all the tea, and I'm going to get that book, and I'm going to be very interested to read it and to hear what people say about it. Just like I was interested to watch the, the documentary, which I watched last night. Very easy to find. Okay, is, does Harry want to leave the UK? Meghan wants to leave the UK and separate and root in California. She wants to go back to California. So Megan is talking in his ear, talking in his ear, talking in his ear. That's what's going on. And if Harry doesn't do something, eventually, you know, she's just going to keep proceeding. Uh, and eventually that's what will happen. If he doesn't chime his voice in and say this or that, uh, no, I'm a royal and I have to do this or, you know, dip out for a couple of days or fly to fly to England without her, uh, then she's just going to win by default, just by pure, you know, pushing, keep pushing what she wants. If he doesn't push back, she's going to win. So that's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination and Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment.